Safety guidelines surrounding high school football are once again being scrutinized after a high school football player from Linden died nearly two weeks after being critically injured during a game, suffering from an apparent traumatic brain injury. As Ted Goldberg reports, the tragedy isn't the only death to rock a high school football team this season. In honor of Xavier's memory, we ask that you join us and observe it a moment of silence. Linden football played with heavy hearts Saturday, just three days after the death of teammate Xavier McLean. It was an accident. We know that football is a dangerous sport, uh, and I, I think here in Linden, I think we've done everything humanly possible to make sure that our kids uh, are playing in, a, in what I would consider a safe environment. McLean suffered a head injury after a brutal hit on a kick return during a game on September 9th. The sophomore running back spent time on life support before passing away. He's the second high school football player in Union County to die this month after Rahway senior Ali Muhammad died in his sleep. We don't know if football contributed to Ali's death, but these tragedies have renewed debate about how to make football safer. We need to reduce risky athletic exposure, and we can do that by reducing the number of practices, reducing the, no the amount of contact in practices altogether. I don't see a need for five and six years old tackling, but once you get to the, you know, the lightweight level of, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, you need to properly teach them how to tackle. I think that's the key. So I think you, we need to have continued clinics. I think we need to make sure that these coaches are certified. Benji Wimberly coached high school football for more than 30 years. He's opposed laws that would ban youth tackle football and says rule changes would do a better job of protecting athletes. One example is changes to kick returns. You can't get a run and start. If you remember years ago, you could kind of get a, you know, run and start to get down. Uh, they uh, moved up the kick off five yards to prevent some of these collisions. What the NFL does, everybody else is going to do. Health experts say head injuries will always be a part of football. The best thing that can be done is educating kids about the risks of playing and teaching them that it's okay to take yourself out of a game to help avoid further injury. We know that concussion affects how your brain functions. It changes your neurochemistry. And in doing so, it affects the neurons or the nerve cells in your brain. You can have physical symptoms. You can have emotional symptoms, behavioral symptoms. You can have cognitive thinking symptoms. Youth tend to think they're invincible. And I think that that's something that as a society, we need to work on. The players need to know that if you don't feel well, you have to say something, and that's okay. Linden Mayor Derek Armstead played football when he went to Linden High School. A shoulder injury from his playing days still hurts him sometimes, and his kids aren't allowed to play. He still loves football, though, even with this dark cloud hanging over. You hear about it happening on TV in other cities, other states. It hit home this time. When I'm watching a football game, particularly a youth football game, uh, I, I don't think I'll ever look at the games the same anymore. McLean's friends made this memorial for him last week, hoping to keep his memory alive at Tiger Stadium. In Linden, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.